day, what up you guys, this is Danny B, you're watching The Trash Dash, and in this video I'm going to be doing my uh, top 10 favorite Dario Argento movies. And uh, keep in mind, this is going to be a list of my favorites, instead of like what I'm, I'm not trying to say like one movie is better than any other or anything like that, this is just all going to be my favorites, you guys know. Alright, so coming up at number 10 is Pelts, and this is one he did for Masters of Horror. And basically, it's about, like, you know, um, like the skin trade, uh, you know, people murdering animals for their fur. Uh, this guy murders a bunch of raccoons for their fur, and then uh, the ghost of the raccoon, whoever's, like, working on the fur or wearing the fur gets possessed, and they kill themselves. <laughs> Pretty good one. Uh, starring Meatloaf, of all people. Uh, yeah, really cool one. So that's number 10, Pelts. And... Number 10 could also be a tie with um, uh, The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. I haven't watched that one in about a year and a half. Uh, I remember liking it, and I, also I don't own a copy of that, so I put Pelts at number 10. Hey, coming up at number 9 is going to be Sleepless. And this is one I just saw for the first time about two weeks ago. Uh, pretty good. Yeah. It wasn't as good as I had hoped. Like, I was really, really looking forward to this one, but... Uh, still pretty good. Um, cool kill scenes and stuff like that. Pretty decent story. Uh, the only com the only like real complaint that I have about this is it went on a little bit too long. It was like almost two hours, I think. But yeah, good one. All right, coming up at number eight is going to be Suspiria. And I always like this movie. A lot of people would put this as their number one. And I could understand that, but for me, it's it's number eight, just because I don't like it as much as is more story-driven uh, movies. Like, this one's a bunch of cool kill scenes and stuff, and I guess there is, like, some story about the witches, the three mothers or something, but it's a little bit hard to follow. But it is a good movie. I always liked it. It's just I don't like it as much as everyone else does. Number eight, Suspiria. Number seven It's going to be The Card Player. Uh, you know, I I like this one. People hate this movie. I think it's pretty good. Pretty cool, like, uh, serial killer movie where serial killers playing against the FBI in poker. People say it's really bad. I like it. Give it a chance. So that was number seven. Number six is going to be Jennifer from Masters of Horror. Pretty cool movie. It's, <laughs> it reminds me a little bit of, like, Castle Freak. Kind of like Basket Kates meets Castle Freak where... This guy adopts this woman who looks like uh, Castle Freak, basically, in a wig. Takes her home, and then he's kind of taking care of her, and she's running around the house eating the cat and eating the kids and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, good one. The music in this is excellent, too. I think it's uh, Claudio Seminetti from um, Goblin did it. Coming up at number five is going to be Opera. Uh, this one bumped down a little bit. Um, I just rewatched it, and... I, I plus I rewatched some other ones and I like those a little better. This is a good one. Um, about this killer running around the opera, uh, <laughs> taping needles underneath the lead singer's eyes and making her watch murders. And uh, yeah, pretty gruesome, um, pretty violent. Very good cinematography. Very operatic. Like some of the <laughs> acting is very over the top. Good movie. Opera, number five. Hey, coming up at number four is going to be Deep Red. And this one moved up on my list. This used to be at number five. Or number six, I believe. Uh, yeah, this one... Um, the thing is, when I first saw this, I didn't really like it so much. I thought it was too long. <laughs> and I didn't realize that there's two cuts to this movie. Because the second time I watched it, I liked it a lot better. Turns out, the second time I watched it was the... Um, hour and 45 minutes cut or the 105 minute cut first time i watched it was like the two hour cut uh yeah i thought the the hour 45 minute cut was a lot better moved a lot quicker and had better pacing and stuff yeah deep red number four yeah number four the um 105 the uncensored english version <laughs> hey coming up at number three is gonna be the Mother of Tears, or Mother of Tears, the unrated version. If you see this movie, make sure it's unrated, because I've never seen the rated cut, but I could imagine they cut some of the best stuff out of it. So this one really shocked me, because um, I'm not a huge fan of Suspiria, 
and I don't like Inferno that much, but this one I love. Uh, yeah, it reminded me of like Evil Dead, very goofy and gory. Diff completely different style than the other two movies. Like the other two relied a lot on visuals and colors and stuff. This one gives a little bit better detail into the story of the three mothers. Plus there's like more gore and it's just over the top and goofy. And uh, Asia Argento's in this and um, best role I've seen from her. I've seen a couple movies with her in it. This one's the best one so far. This one, yeah, it shocked me. Uh, Mother of Tears, unrated version, number three. Hey, coming up at number two is going to be Phenomena. And this one is a perfect blend, in my opinion, of um, his supernatural stuff and his giallo stuff. Very good. It like came together really nice. Donald Pleasance is in this. Jennifer Conley's in this. Uh, yeah. Uh, just, a, just a goofy, wacky story about this girl in Switzerland uh, who can talk to bugs and she kind of uses the bugs to solve a crime, like solve who's going around killing people and stuff like that. All right, coming up at number one is going to be Tenebrae. This is still my favorite, um, just kind of a very, like, mean-spirited movie. What I like about this one is it's very nasty. Like, it's got kind of a, um, kind of like an angry vibe to it. Um, kind of like New York Ripper a little bit, where it's just, like, goes all out being as mean as it can be. Yeah, I don't know. This is the, like, angriest I've seen in Argento movie, I think. Uh, I think he was personally, like, he was angry. He had, like, some anger issues he's working through when he did it through this movie. But, yeah, number one, Tenebrae. All right, guys, this is Danny B. You're watching The Trash Dash. That was my top ten favorite Argento movies. Um, I've seen all his movies except for uh, that that one he did called, like, Day, Five Days or something like that where it wasn't a horror movie. I didn't see that. So let's do a recap. Number one, Tenebrae. Number two, Phenomena. Number three, Mother of Tears, the unrated version. Number four, Deep Red, the hour 45 minute cut. Number five, Opera. Number six, Jennifer from Masters of Horror. Number seven, The Card Player. Number eight, Suspiria. Number nine, Sleepless. And number 10, Pelts, or maybe The Bird with the Crystal Plumage, if I watch that again and like it better than Pelts. So let me know what you think of those. Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.